Hello, everyone, and welcome to the State of the Moonion for Moon Week 20. I'm on as Justin or Samsung Galaxy player, as I'm still sadly known, and Rider of the Storm and Jay Winterm. Jay Winterm is joining us for the first time on State of the Moonion, so we're going to wave to him and say hi. Hey, hey, Jay Winterm. Um, we have a special announcement, actually. Uh, the cryptocurrency subreddit now has over 4 million subscribers which makes it the largest online cryptocurrency community, which is just absolutely fantastic. We've all put in a lot of work. I know the community has had a lot of great discussions over the years, but it's just great to, to really reach this milestone. So I'm really, really pleased for that. Do any of you have quick comments on the 4 million subscriber milestone? But I think here we're, we're incredibly excited. Go ahead, Jaywin. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I've been around since I think it was like, 10,000 or so subscribers, <laughs> and, uh, it, but it, it's really been amazing to see it go from like a million in early 2020 to 4 million now, like a, a little more than a year later. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't, be, haven't been around as long, but uh, to see even the growth in the last year and a half or so has been amazing, and uh, to see another million milestone hit is uh, is great. It's a wonderful milestone to see. Yeah, I, I'm excited. I, I don't think either of us were as early as Jay Winterm, but uh, it's still good to see. <laughs> um, I want to quickly talk about some price uh, updates for the month, just in the cryptocurrency market broadly. So over the last month, uh, Bitcoin, Cardano, XRP, Polkadot, Dogecoin, and Shiba Inu are all down this month. Uh, XRP is down about 10%. Bitcoin's down about 6.5%. The others are down by double digits, though. Um, so Shiba Inu was hit pretty hard since the last time we had a discussion about how it appreciated so significantly. Um, on the other hand, we had coins like Binance Coin, Avalanche, Crypto.com Coin, or their CRO Coin, um, and Decentraland really make some large gains. Um, these, of course, aren't the largest gains overall, but among large coins, they've gained a lot. And there's been some other uh, coins that have done pretty well, too. So if you've seen a little bit of discussion on those in the daily discussion, you may know why now. Um, but Jay Winterman, Rider of the Storm, do you have any comments on the cryptocurrency market this month you want to you wanna share? Sure. It's, I mean, I think definitely been the kind of metaverse tokens like Decentraland, Mana, and the Sandbox, Sand, which have gone up like many hundreds of percent, maybe a thousand percent even in the last month uh, based on the hype from Facebook, more or less. Um, and also, even I think Loop Ring has some rumored deal with something that's kind of in between NFTs and, and metaverse stuff that um, I think has kind of propelled it up a few hundred percent. I'm not exactly sure how much it's up the last month. Um, yeah, so I think it, it's really meta metaverse is the topic of the month. Yeah, and I, you know, I tend to watch more uh, long-term overall uh, market trends. I was uh, kind of expecting this downturn. I hope I'm right. <laughs> One of those uh, not financial advice scenarios. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of not surprised uh, where we're at uh, in in this market cycle. If I'm right, and um, I'm going to see if I'm right. Uh, we'll see what we're talking about uh, in the spring we'll see if i'm crying or if i'm smiling on these videos <laughs> <laughs> well i guess you all get to see you in the future so that's something to look forward to <laughs> right <laughs> right i'm gonna actually hand it back to you to talk about the governance polls that people have to vote on this week there's still a few days for people to still vote so they definitely should absolutely the polls are very important and um, <clears throat> i'll start off with uh, ccip 19 this is to disable live posts altogether. Uh, this one is actually uh, at 99% uh, now, so it's it's looking like it's going to pass, but I'd still get out there and vote if you haven't. CCIP 21, temporarily sort comments by newest first. This is also leading uh, quite heavily at 75%, but uh, go vote. Uh, CCIP 22, reducing double karma uh, for comments with the comedy flair. Uh, this one is leading, but not quite as much at 65%. So if you're in support, get out there and uh, get your vote in. CCIP 23, this is the moon's multiplier for uh, different flare types. 
I'm also just barely in the lead at 60%. So again, if you're in support, go vote. If you're not, go vote. Either way, you need to vote. Uh, this is what uh, helps make uh, changes in the way the subreddit operates. And uh, speaking of changes, I think jwin has got some words on that now. Yeah, so just to touch on kind of moderation issues in the subreddit for the last month. Um, the biggest and, and most controversial one was that we filtered discussion of loop ring for about a week, I think, a little bit less. And this is something that we've done uh, on more than a few occasions in the past uh, when people are linking posts or comments directly or indirectly in our subreddit from another like home coin subreddit or discord uh, and directing people to come into our cryptocurrency to vote positive comments about that coin up or, or vote negative comments down and, and brigade and make positive comments about their favorite coin. Um, and, and normally for kind of larger market cap coins, we are able to contact the people running the subreddit or the discord, which is typically somebody associated with the coins foundation or something and get it resolved pretty quickly where they can make an announcement and, and possibly implement some rules blocking direct links to our cryptocurrency or something. So we did that with loop ring and they agreed to try and help eliminate the problem. However, we've already seen some instances where People have been brigading loop ring posts again in the last week or so. So we're continuing to kind of monitor that situation. Um, and then, so for the, I'll, to kind of continue on and talk about the um, events that happened on the subreddit in the last month, we had a total of five AMAs. Um, in kind of the traditional format. The first one was a, a kind of AMA slash giveaway with SafeSeed. Uh, and then we had the Syscoin and Oasis protocol projects come on and talk about their um, tokens and, and layer one technologies. Um, and then we had CoinSmart, which is a newly public exchange in Canada, came on and talked about the process of taking a cryptocurrency exchange public. I mean, they're certainly not as well known as Coinbase, which is kind of the, you know, Decacorn United States public cryptocurrency trading company, but it was cool to have them on and talk about that. And then we also had a uh, United States Senate candidate come on and discuss her run for Congress um, in the upcoming 2022 election, I think. Uh, we also had three Reddit talk events, one with, uh, crypto tax lawyer, another one with Kevin O'Leary, which I was, I mean, based on the comments leading up to the actual Reddit talk event, it seemed like it may be very combative and critical, but I thought he handled himself really well. And that was a cool um, discussion to have somebody so kind of well known in the wider business world, come on and talk about cryptocurrency and his perspective on that. And then we also had uh, an AMA to talk about DAOs or decentralized autonomous organizations. And with that, I will pass it back to Justin to talk about our uh, user post highlight for this month. Absolutely. Yeah, I want to quickly touch on the DAO talk that I did. I didn't have as much of a draw as Kevin O'Leary, sadly, but it was. I think it was still a fun time and people warmed up to the discussion pretty well. We have recordings of all of those Reddit talk events actually on this YouTube channel. So you can see them if you are interested. Um, we always like to highlight as moderators a user post that we thought was especially high quality. Sometimes we feel it hasn't gotten a lot of attention, but this one was quality and also got a lot of attention. It was by Rithpath for their website, memebergterminal.com. And they have a section for cryptocurrencies in particular. And you can even filter specifically by the cryptocurrency subreddit to see what uh, projects people are talking about throughout Reddit, see if they're up or down in the last week. You can actually, you can actually click and see what specific discussions people are, are having on those specific projects. So it's a very, very useful tool. Um, it's, of course, useful if you're just trying to see what's popular. It's useful for us as moderators to see if like there's anything high level we're missing, <laughs> to, to see if we're missing enormous brigades in the daily or something. So 
it's it's actually pretty useful. I'd, I'd say for quite a few people. So thank you, Rithpath, for that really nice website. I hope it stays up, and I hope people continue to use it. Um, I want to quickly give a shout out to our merch. Of course, I'm wearing the Nacho Keys Nacho Coins shirt. Uh, Jay Winter is wearing our cryptocurrency sweater. So you could be as cool as us. And I know you're just seeing we're the coolest people alive. So you should definitely grab one of those shirts. <laughs> um, I got to catch up, apparently. <laughs> yeah, you got to catch up with the other moderators. For, we're just we're just on a different level. <laughs> I do. I'm behind. <laughs> Um, and then to wrap up, I just always want to plug our sort of family of subreddits. Those include cryptocurrency meta, which you really should be a part of if you want to be heavily involved in, in governance discussions. We also have cryptocurrency markets, cryptocurrency memes, which you can get moons for posting in, actually. Um, and we even have a new subreddit, cryptocurrency moons. So if you want to have unrestricted number of discussions on cryptocurrency moons that won't fit in the normal cryptocurrency discussion or aren't fit for meta, Use cryptocurrency moons. People can help you with the vaults. People can discuss moons more openly there. It should be a pretty good time. And we also have more technical focused ones like crypto devs and crypto technology. Uh, we have our Twitter at ccmod underscore, such a great username. Uh, we have a Discord uh, linked in the sidebar of our main subreddit, with, which has about 70,000 uh, 70, users. And we also have a Telegram, which is pretty new with only about 1,500 users. This is at t.me slash our cryptocurrency official. All right. That's all I had for this this month. Uh, Jay Winterm or Rider of the Storm, is there any other closing thoughts that you you have uh, for this uh, State of the Moonion? Go ahead, Jay Win. I was just going to say happy Thanksgiving and happy Hanukkah. And watch out when Moon Week is over. We're going to do a pretty big giveaway to celebrate the 4 million subscribers on the sub. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, all. Take care. Happy uh, 4 million users. Wonderful milestone. See you next time. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye. Bye.